Welcome to Sew Bliss. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute and really easy trick or treat bag. You guys can make a pumpkin, a monster, Frankenstein, a ghost, anything. And best of all, they're very easy to store. Now the supplies that you're going to need for this project are first you're going to need some felt. I obviously used orange for the pumpkin. I used two 9 by 12 rectangles for the front and the back piece. And then I used two 12 by 5 because I made my bag 5 inches wide. You can do whatever size you would like, but that's the two pieces on the side. And then I needed one 5 by 9 piece. I also used two pieces of green felt that were 9 by 12 for the handles, and then a piece of black felt for the face. And then you just need your basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. I am also going to use a pen and piece of paper so that I can make a pattern for the face of the pumpkin. You could just eyeball it if you want to, but I'm going to use the paper. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pattern for the face. So first I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm just going to do big triangle eyes. And I have marked on my paper how big my felt is so that way I can get a rough estimate of what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to do a triangle nose. And then I'm going to make just a regular smile and add teeth into it. Now I'm ready to cut these pieces out and then cut them out of my felt. After I have my pieces cut out, I just place them onto one of my larger orange pieces, which this is the 9 by 12 piece. And I'm going to then pin them on and sew around them. Just do like a little top stitching. Just all the way around so that the pieces will stay in place. Now once I have the pumpkin's face put on, now I'm ready to sew my sides on. So these are the 5 by 12 pieces that will go on our sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one piece and I'm going to put it wrong sides together. So this is going to be my wrong side of my larger piece and this will be my wrong side of my smaller piece and I'll just match those edges up, pin those together and sew those down. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other side. So I'll take this piece, put wrong sides together, match the edges up and sew those together. So I'll pin it and sew it. Now when you go to sew your edges together, this is where you can get a little more creative. Um, you could do just a normal straight stitch or you could use a more decorative stitch depending on how fancy you want to make it or what face you're making. So for mine, I'm just going to do a zigzag because I think it'll go really well with the pumpkin. So I'm just going to sew mine at half an inch seam allowance, but you can do whatever will work best for your project. After you've sewn those edges together, you should have your piece looking like this. Then we can take the other 9 by 12 piece and we'll put wrong sides together again. And we'll match this side up with this side and the left sides together. And you want to make sure all this in here doesn't get caught when you're sewing. So just match those edges up and we'll do the same exact stitch down those edges. And make sure that you are back stitching at the beginning and the end. That will really secure the bag and make sure it doesn't fall apart when you get heavy candy in it. Now when you're done sewing all those edges together, it'll look like this just like a little rectangle and now we're ready to take that 9 by 5 piece that we have and put it on the bottom to make the bottom of the bag. So I already pinned mine on but what you're going to do is you're just going to put wrong sides together again and then just match up the edges all along and pin it and then you're just going to sew all the way around the same exact way that you sewed these edges right here. So now we're ready to do that on the bottom. Now when you're done sewing, the bag should be able to sit up all by itself just like this. Now I'm going to take my green felt and I'm going to cut 2 inch strips that are lengthwise. So they're about 12 inches long. I'm going to cut 8 of them. So that way I can make the straps longer and then layer them on top of each other to create a thicker strap. Once I have my strips cut, then I'm going to take two of the pieces and I'm going to layer them so that they cover each other about two inches and I'm going to sew a square over that. So this is my wrong side and this is my wrong side. So I have my right side to my wrong side right there and I'm just going to sew a square right there and probably do, even do an X through it so that way the strap will be longer. 
and I'm going to do this to all of my pieces. Now once I have my strips sewn together, I'm then going to place them wrong sides together on top of each other and sew down each side creating that strap. Now I could have cut four inch wide strips and then just folded it in half, but I like that raw edge look that we're getting throughout the whole bag and everything. So I wanted to keep it consistent. But if you wanted to, you could cut four inch large strips and then just fold it in half and ha only have to sew down one edge. But since I did it this way, I'm gonna sew down both edges. Now once your straps are ready, you can pin them to your bag and sew them on. I think I'm gonna do little rectangles to sew them on. You could do X's, you could do a decorative stitch, just do something that is really strong, not just a single straight stitch, because that will not be strong enough to keep the straps on and to hold up the candy that your kids are going to get. Now, after you have sewn those straps onto your bag, you are all done with your trick or treat bag. See how easy and quick that was? I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Make sure to like this video and to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!